we'll begin lying on our backs. And as you settle into this pose, just do a body scan here. Just notice how your body feels. And then bring the breath into the body. Just a few easy breaths. start to deepen the breath, drawing in our ujjayi breath. So we want to have a small constriction at the back of our throat. You'll notice a light vibration, maybe a tickle. And you'll start to hear an audible inhale and an audible exhale as you deepen into the breath. And then just float the breath into the body, float the breath out of the body. Nice and easy. Fluid breaths in and fluid breaths out. to bring anything into your practice, an intention, mantra, anything that has meaning to you. And then on your next inhale, just float the arms above the head and stretch the body nice and long. Maybe you point your toes, shrug your shoulders to your ears, however that may be. And then on your exhale, bring your hands next to your side body. And then walk your feet close towards your hips. So your heels are close to your hips and your knees are facing the ceiling. Feet are hip width distance. And then just start to tuck your pelvis in so your lower back is flat to the earth. And then on an inhale, we'll stay on our mat. And then on our exhale, we'll float the hips and lift them. Bring your hip points in alignment with your knees and then take your shoulders back. Press into your feet. Take an inhale here, and then exhale. Slowly roll your body back down to the earth. Take an inhale on your mat, and then exhale again, lifting into bridge nice and slow. Really articulate each vertebrae as you lift all the way up. Press into your feet, activate your inner thighs. And then inhale here, exhale nice and slow, articulate each vertebrae as you roll, lower your pelvis down to your mat. And then bring your knees into your chest to start to rock from right to left, massaging your lower back. And then lengthen your left leg all the way down to the earth. Keep your right knee hugged in and take your right knee in towards the right armpit. And just start to massage your right hip for moving right to left. 
And then take an inhale here, exhale. Take your right leg, cross it over your left. Supine twist. With your right hand, you can either gold post the hand or you can lengthen it nice and straight from the right shoulder. And then relax your shoulders towards your mouth. And then inhale, bring your right knee back into your chest. Exhale, float your right heel to the sky. Interlace your hands behind the right thigh. Draw the leg in towards your shoulders. If it feels good to you, you can point and flex or roll the ankle out. Take one more inhale, pull it a little closer, and then exhale, slowly float the right leg down to the earth. Inhale, bring the knees into your chest. Rock from right to left. And then lengthen the left leg all the way down to your mat. Keep the left knee hugged into your chest. Do any little movements here that feel good. And then take your left knee, cross it over your right, and extend your left hand from left shoulder. Supine twist. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Soften your shoulders towards your mat. Inhale, bring the left knee back into your chest. Exhale, float the left foot to the sky. Interlace your hands behind the left leg. And then draw that leg in towards the body. Do anything you did with the left ankle, do it with, or with the right ankle, do it with the left. Another inhale, drop a little bit closer, and then exhale, lengthen your left leg all the way down to your mat. Inhale, stretch the arms above the head, and then exhale, wrap your hands around your shins, hug your knees into your chest, rock if that feels good to you. And then plant the soles of your feet down to your mat, hip width distance. Grab behind the thighs and do a rock. And we're going to rock into Navasana. So if you want to rock two, three times, and then make your way into Navasana boat pose. And it can be a modified boat pose. You can place your hands underneath the thighs with your feet touching. You can lift one leg, lift the other, or do full extension if you're already that warmed up. Your choice. We'll draw the navel in and keep the heart lifting and the crown lifting. And holding here for three, two, and then one, hold. And then place your hands next to your sides. Keep your legs where they are. And then tap the right foot and then bring it back to meet the left and then left foot. So just these little taps. Keep the core engaged and tap. Hands are next to your side so you're staying stable. Draw the navel in, keep the chest lifting. I'm doing this for three, for two, and for one. Hold one last time, and then exhale, cross the legs, and make your way into tabletop pose. Bring your knees behind you, hands forward, shoulders directly over your wrists, and hips directly over your knees. Knees are about hip width distance. And let's start to move in this pose. Just move organically and freely. This is your freestyle cat and cow, or whatever you want to call it, tabletop. We'll do three more cycles of breath, do whatever you want. You can do a little wrist stretch, stretch here as well. That feels good to you. And then bring yourself 
to a still tabletop. On your inhale, lower the belly and lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, press into the mat for your cat spine, chin to chest, navel drawn in. One more, inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart. And then exhale, press, lift the whole spine, chin to chest. All right, three more of these on your own. Go at your own pace. And if you want to add anything to them, please do. Just feeling out your body, doing what the body wants, honoring that. And then when you're ready to go, flip the toes and float your hips to the sky, down or facing dog. Take your time, generously bend your knees. So we have a nice bend in our knees and then our hips float up. Then we start to press into the right, press into the left, straightening one leg, straightening the other. Just a nice way to ease into your downward dog. This is another really good pose to just do a body scan here, seeing how your body feels in this pose. Do any kind of adjustments. And sometimes we have a narrower downward dog. Maybe try to widen your stance. See if that feels good. If you have tight shoulders, you can always just turn your hands out so your thumbs are pointing towards the top of your mat. That'll feel nice. So you can play around a little bit here, doing different things. Then spread the fingers, spread the toes. Activate your legs, take your shoulders down your back. On an inhale, we'll lift the heels. And then on an exhale, we'll lower the heels. Two more of those, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, nice. And then we'll inhale, round the spine, so cat spine as we roll into plank. And then navel drawn in, like so. And then exhale, bend the knees, cow spine, and then push yourself back into downward facing dog. So we're doing this slinky roll type of um, flow movement here. So again, Round the back, bring yourself forward or hinge forward into plank. Exhale, bend your knees, arch your back, and then push your hips back to downward facing dog. And move that two more times. Inhale, roll forward, hinge, round back, push the mat away from you. Exhale, press back, lift the hips, down and facing dog. Walk it out. Take a breath. And then start to walk your feet to your hands, forward fold. And just let the arms hang, let your head fall, let your knees generously bend. And then inhale, slowly start to rise and lift yourself all the way up, standing pose. Inhale, bend the knees and then shoot your hands to the sky. Inhale here, exhale, fold. And then inhale, half lift, gaze forward, exhale, bring yourself to plank. Plank here, you can modify by lowering the knees. And then we're gonna lower the belly all the way down to the earth. Forehead to mat, hands go next to your side ribs, your elbow points face up. Cobra pose, tops of your feet are pressed into the mat. Inhale, reach forward and lift. There should be lightness in your fingertips or you can hover your fingertips. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades and lift up. Use your core. Maybe you lift your hands, hover. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, press up with your knees. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Start to walk it out. 
And then inhale, round the back. Hinge to plank. Exhale, push it back. Downward facing dog. Doing this with, inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Two more. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Last one. Inhale, really, really lift the spine. Round it. Exhale, arch and push back. Push the mat away from you. Downward facing dog. Take some time here to walk it out. Take some time to breathe. And then jump step or hop to the top of your mat. Forward fold. This time let your arms go to opposite elbows. Generously bend in the knees if that feels good to you. And then let your head fall. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. And then release the arms. Slowly roll all the way up. Standing pose. Inhale, arms go above the head. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower belly all the way down. Setting up for Cobra Pose or Upward Facing Dog. Inhale, lift the chest, top to feet press in, activate your thighs. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, lift. Maybe lift a little bit higher. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, press up with your knees. And then downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward. Really lift the back, rounding it. Exhale, push, downward facing dog. And again, doing that with, inhale, roll forward, hinge forward. Exhale, push back. Two more. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Last one. Inhale, roll forward. And then exhale, push back. Two breaths. Inhale, lift your right leg this time, three-legged dog. And then open, stack your hip. So scorpion, just opening the hip. Keep your right shoulder square to your mat to get back to three-legged. And then exhale, knee all the way through, plant forward. Lift the chest on an inhale. And then on an exhale, straighten the leg around the back. Inhale, low lunge, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten the right leg, modified triangle. Two more, inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, straighten the leg, modified triangle. And last one, inhale, lift. Arch the spine, exhale, push them out away, lift the hips, nice. And then bend the right leg into your runner's lunge, and then lift all the way up, lift into crescent, press into the right foot, lifting all the way up. Take your shoulder blades down your back. Maybe you bend the left knee a little bit to tilt the pelvis. Keep your arms stacked over your shoulders, over your hips. And then take the right hand to your right hip. Left hand, we're gonna reach and then bring it over to the right side to get a whole stretch in the, in the left side body. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. And then exhale, bring your hands all the way down. Bring your right foot back, plank. Lower to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can always modify your flows too. You can go down to your knees, or you can skip it. Inhale, let's do, let's do our wave, roll it forward, and then exhale, push it back. 
we do four of these. Inhale, forward, then we round, and then exhale, arch the back, push the hips up. Two more, inhale, forward, hinge, exhale, push back. Last one, inhale, hinge forward, exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. And then take the left leg to the sky, three-legged. Open, stack your hip. That left shoulder wants to pop out, wrap it down and towards your mat. Maybe lower your right heel to the earth. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. And then exhale, take the left one all the way through, setting up for a low lunge again. Draw the heart forward, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, straighten the left leg, lift your hips to the sky. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, press, modify triangle. Two more, inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, exhale, press. Last one, inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, press. And then inhale, runner's lunge. And then press into the left foot. Lift yourself all the way up into crescent. Find your crescent pose first. So bending the knee if that feels good. Tilt the pelvis towards the sky. Arms directly over your shoulders. And then activate your inner thighs towards each other. Now take your left hand to left hip. Right hand reaches over to the left side. Breathe into your right hip flexor, your whole right side body. Nice. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up, back to your crescent. And then exhale, frame the left foot, setting up for your vinyasa. Bring yourself to plank, set up plank first. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward. And then exhale, downward. Let's take two breaths in our downward facing dog. And then we do our wave. Inhale, roll forward. Hinge. Exhale, push back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Two more. Inhale, roll. Exhale, push. Last one. Inhale, roll. Exhale, push. And inhale, right leg lifts. Open, stack your hip. Inhale, back to three-legged. Exhale, bring the right foot all the way through, setting up for warrior two. So left heel goes down. And then inhale, rise all the way up. Knees over right hand, bend into your right knee. Find your stance first. Take your shoulder blades back. Keep your hips facing towards the left. Strong stance and breathe. Then inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, reverse. Lift the right palm, lift it all the way back. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, straighten the right leg. Inch the left foot in just a little bit, shortening your stance, setting up for trikonasana. So when I Point our knee to the right pinky toe and then hinge forward, shoot our hips all the way towards the back and then take your right hand to a block or your ankle or your calf or your shin and then open the left hand, open the collarbone. Gaze towards the sky and breathe and then File your ribs towards the sky. Navel drum in. Hug your right hip in. Nice. One more inhale. And then on your exhale, lift all the way back up. Lift your arms. And then reverse trikonasana. Take your right hand all the way to the sky. Open the right hip.
and then take it back into your warrior two. One more inhale here. And then on your exhale, we're gonna take the hands into the right foot and then walk our hands to center for wide-legged forward fold. So pivoting towards the whatever direction you're in and then lower your head down, lift your hips. Hands can go in front of you, hands can go behind you. Soft bend or micro bend in your knees. And then keep lifting your hips and then activate your outer hips. Breathe here for three, two, and then one. Lift yourself to half lift. And then bring your hands to your hips and then lift yourself all the way up. Heels in, toes go out, and then sink into your goddess pose. So we'll sink a little low, hands just go below the kneecaps. And then bring your hands behind you at the nape of your neck. Sink a little bit deeper. And then take your right elbow to right knee. Inhale, center. Left elbow to left knee. Inhale, center. Two more. Inhale to the right. Center. Inhale to the left. Center. Last one. Inhale to the right. Center. Inhale to the left. Center. Nice. Straighten the legs. And then bring yourself back to warrior two. One more inhale here. Exhale, spiral all the way down, setting up to your plank. Chaturanga, inhale to upward, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, round the back. Exhale, push, arch the back, downward facing dog. Three more, inhale, roll forward, exhale, push back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Last one. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Two breaths here. And inhale, your left leg lifts, three-legged dog, and then into scorpion, open, stack your hips. Inhale, back to three-legged. Exhale, bring that left knee all the way through, setting up for warrior two. Spiral your right heel down, heel to arch alignment, open up the arms, and then gaze over your left hand. Open up your hips, open up your left knee, sink into your pose, take your shoulder blades back, navel drawn in, inhale, hinge forward, exhale, reverse, flip the palm, bring it all the way back, breathe, inhale, bring yourself back to warrior two, Exhale, straighten the left leg, and then just inch your right foot, shorten your stance just a little bit. If you have a box, this is a good time to use one. And then jug your hips, your right hip will go towards the back, and then hinge forward. Now tilt the arms, left hand goes down on the block, or your left hand goes to the inner, left ankle, left shin. Right hand opens, and then twist, small micro twist in the upper, um, in the upper chest, upper rib cage. And then hug your left hip into its socket. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then lift yourself all the way back up. Reverse trikonasana. Take the left hand all the way back. Right hand will graze down the right leg. Feel that stretch. Inhale, bring yourself back to warrior two. And then on your exhale, spiral your hands to the inside of your left foot. 
and then walk them into your wide-legged forward fold. This time, we're gonna bring our arms behind us and interlace them. Clasp the hands, soft bend in the knees, and then lift your palms to the side, let your head fall. Maybe shake yes, maybe shake no, if that feels good to you. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And then shift your weight to the top of your feet. Activate your outer hips. One more inhale here. Exhale, release. Bring your hands down to the mat. And then walk your hands to the right foot. Just for a stretch, maybe take your right toes out. And just fold. And then walk your hands to the left. Point your left toes out. And then fold. And then keep your hands where they are. Just pivot your left foot forward. And then float your right foot to meet the left. Inhale, roll the body all the way up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands into heart center. And then inhale, bring the arms all the way up. Exhale, chair pose. Sink into your chair. All the way down, take your shoulder blades back. Navel drawn in, weight is in the heels. Lower your hips. So you should be able to see your toes. Maybe even like a little wiggle if you want to. One more inhale here. And then exhale, bring your hands down to the earth. Lift your heels. And then lower your hips to your heels. Hands are forward. If you need blocks, you can use your blocks for this. We're gonna go into a toe stand. So big toes together, and then the heels go together, and then your hips are on your heels. And you can keep your knees together, hands are on blocks, or your hands can go to the earth, if that feels better for you. If you want a little bit of a challenge, you can start to open the knees, and then your heels will um, touch. Your heels will touch. Your hips will be on your heels, like so, on your feet. And then you can test your balance by bringing your hands maybe to your knees. That feels good to you. Or you can open the palms. Bring your hands to heart center. So just test your balance. This is a balancing pose. It's okay if you fall out. You can always bring your hands forward. It's another option too. You can fold into this pose. You can bring your head or your chin towards heart center. Take your shoulders back. Another option. So three more cycles of breath here. Play with this pose. Blocks are always a good option too for balance. Awesome. Breathe. And to close it up, bring your hands forward, bring your knees together, and then take your knees down, and then just tap the tops of the feet, like so. That was a lot on the feet, so just tapping them, getting it all out of there. Maybe do a little roll of the ankle. And bring yourself to downward facing dog. Take yourself back. Walk it out. And then inhale, take your right leg to the sky. On your exhale, bring it all the way through for warrior two. Spiral the right heel down. Now if you have your block, bring your block to the right corner of your mat before you stand. And then we stand and lift all the way into warrior two. Gaze over, right hand. 
We'll take an inhale here, and then an exhale. And then straighten the right leg. Scoop the left leg. Setting up for trikonasana again. Inhale, hinge forward, take your hips all the way back. And then take your right hand to the inside of your right ankle, or use a block. Left hand goes up, open the rib cage. Now this time take the left hand and bring it into the right hip crease for a bind. You're opening the shoulder, take both shoulders back. Hug the right hip in, and then spiral the rib cage to the sky. Gaze is to the sky. Activate both legs and draw every amount of energy you have into the midline of your body. One more inhale here, and then on your exhale, gaze down at your right hand. Bend your right knee. You can keep your hand in a bind if you want, or you can bring your hand to your hip. We're setting up for half moon. Bring the block to the tall side, bring it to the right corner of your mat, and then float the left leg. Bring the left heel in alignment with the left, or the, the hip. Right hand goes forward, and then you can gaze down for stability. And if you want the challenge, you can start to open your hips to the left, open the shoulders, and then take this bouncing pose. Soft bend in the knees. If you want another um, option here, you can grab your left foot with your left hand. So all options, take your time and breathe. You have about three more seconds in this pose. And then to release the pose, just slowly bring your left hand forward and then bring your left foot to meet right and then just walk your feet out. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, and then exhale, your Chaturanga, your flow. So plank, lower halfway, inhale, upward, press in and lift the heart, exhale, navel, drop in, downward facing dog, walk it out. Other side, left leg lifts. Exhale all the way through, warrior two. Left, left foot forward, right heel spirals. Your blocks are forward, or if you want to block for trichinosity, you can bring it next to your ankle. Spiral all the way up, gaze over left hand. Open the chest, warrior two. And then straighten, set up for trichinosity, inch your right foot in. Hinge forward, take your hips, right hip goes back, tilt, left hand goes to your block or your ankle or your calf, and then right hand opens. With the right hand, take it into a bind, take it behind you into that left hip crease. Now one more here, we're gonna open our shoulders. Open our shoulders, rotate our rib cage towards the sky, and then hug your left hip in. Navel drawn in, now activate your outer hips, activate everything into the midline. One more inhale here. And then on your exhale, gaze down at your left hand. Bend your left knee. You can keep your hand in a bind if you want, or place on your hip. And then float your block with your left hand to the left corner of your mat, or the outside of it, and then lift your right heel. Lift it all the way up. Bring your right heel in alignment with that right hip here. So nice and straight. Flex the right foot. Soft bend in the left knee. So that will help you stay balanced. And then you can rotate your hips. So your one panel. If you want to try a challenge, you can bring the right hand to straighten. Or if you want to bend the right foot to right hand, always nice for quad stretch. Take your time. If you fall out of it, go back into it. It's all good. One more inhale here. And then on our exhale, slowly take your right foot to meet left and then just walk it out. 
And then open your feet wider than your mat so your heels are in and your toes are out. Now, setting up for Malasana pose, we're going to send our hips all the way down. Now, if you have a block and you know that this is what you need for your Malasana, then go for it. Otherwise, if you don't need blocks, you can go all the way down, send your hips all the way down, and then lift your chest, the crown of your head lifts all the way up. And then close your eyes. This is a great time to close your eyes and reflect on your intention. Just taking that time to breathe, reconnect. And then bring your hands forward and then rock yourself back. We're going to make our way back into um, Navasana or boat pose. So bring the hands and the hips behind you and then lift your legs, lift your palms to the sky, Navasana boat pose. Navel drawn in, open the chest. Nice. And then bring your right hand to the outer right thigh. Left hand is going to extend into a twist. If this isn't calling to you, you can always place your feet down and just twist. So modified versions. And then lower your feet. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, take it back. Navasana pose, lift the feet into whatever modified Navasana or full Navasana that you have. And then bring your right hand on the outer left thigh and then twist. Left hand extends, navel drawn in, gaze over left shoulder if you can. Keep drawing the navel in, twist, and then bring it back. Feet go down, inhale, lift up. And then exhale, we're gonna bring our hands behind our hips, reverse tabletop. So lift our body all the way up, shoulders stacked over your hands, your wrists, knees stacked over your feet, and then lift the chest, lift yourself all the way up. One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower your hips all the way down. And then open your feet wider than your mat. And we'll do a windshield wiper to the right. And a windshield wiper to the left. One more round. One to the right. And then one to the left. And then walk your feet back into your mat. Take an inhale here. And then an exhale, we're, just, we're going to lower to our forearms. Maybe scoot your hips into the middle of your mat if you need to. So forearms here. You can keep your feet planted, going into fish pose. So feet can be planted, and then you can lift the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. So see how I'm slouch? I want to lift all the way up. So lift the heart, lift the chest, and then open the throat. Take your head back. Option one. Option two, you can extend the legs. Squeeze the shoulder blades, and again, lift all the way up. Really squeeze your shoulder blades and lift the chest. Open the throat. That's option two. And then take a, um, a good inhale here. A good exhale. And then to release the pose, just walk your feet back up. Press onto your hands, straighten arms. And then bring your hands to the um, to underneath the inner thighs. To get inhale to lift the chest. And then exhale, start to lower your body all the way down to the third. Tuck your pelvis in. 
Take a breath. Take an exhale. And then take your right ankle on your left thigh. So figure four, we place our hands underneath the left thigh and then draw the knee in towards our chest. Take the right elbow into the right thigh to open up the right thigh a little bit more and get a little bit deeper. Close your eyes, soften your shoulders towards your mat. So your right foot might land to the earth. And then with the left hand, just grab your right ankle to hold it in place. With the right hand, push the inner right thigh away from you. So you'll get this space in your right hip flexor and that always feels good. So pushing the, the um, right thigh away. Slowly 
take your time, as much time as you need to float your legs all the way down into final resting pose, your Shavasana. Lengthen your legs, lift your chest, and then close your eyes. And then maybe place your left or right hand on your lower belly, and then your other hand on your heart. Feel your chest rise and fall. Focus your attention on your breath. Let go of anything in the body. If you're holding any tension, start to release each body part. Relax your toes, your feet, your ankles, your calves. shoulders, your neck, your jaw, relax your eye sockets, your jawline, your eyebrows and your forehead, your biceps, Noticing the breath in the body as you inhale, as you exhale. Notice where the breath begins. where the breath ends. Notice everything in between. to stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. If you're ready to come out and enter into the night, start to roll over to the right or left side body in a fetal position. Take any last reflections once you arrive. Any last intentions. Start to press in and lift all the way up into seated pose. Cross your legs. Keep your eyes closed if you can. And then bring your hands into heart center. Just notice your breath. Notice how you feel. Thank 
you all so much for honoring your practice. Thank you for letting me guide you. Namaste. Have a wonderful night. My name is Maria. I will be doing this class every Thursday, and I think I'm on the schedule next week a couple times, subbing a few classes. So I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you. guys have a great week <laughs> thank you if I have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me hi Melissa hi Susan <laughs>